the Queen is to face another Annus Horribilis in 2019 due to ongoing criticism over Meghan Markle and Prince Andrew's behaviors, royal expert Dan Wooten claimed. The Queen famously branded 1992 a horrible year due to the announcement from Prince Charles and Princess Diana of their divorce, and a devastating fire ravaging through her beloved Windsor Castle. The monarch has been warned 2019 is shaping up to be another Annus Horribilis for the royal family due to ongoing claims of hypocrisy from Meghan Markle and demands Prince Andrew speaks out over his relationship with child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. Speaking to talk radio, royal expert Dan Wooten said, the Queen famously described 1992 as an Annus Horribilis for the royal family but could 2019 be shaping up the same way? with all that's gone on this week mean for the royal family. There has been a lot, the Windsors have been battling on two major fronts over the past seven days. First Prince Andrew and his proximity to the pedophile and child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, their friendship over so many years now clear for the world to see. I would silence from the Duke of York isn't good enough. Hiding behind soulless Buckingham Palace press statements simply won't cut it anymore. Jeffrey Epstein was arrested in July on federal sex trafficking and conspiracy charges related to the alleged abuse of hundreds of girls before. The Duke of York has denied any involvement with the abhorrent activities of Mr. Epstein through several statements from the palace. On Saturday, Prince Andrew issued a new statement on his friendship with Mr. Epstein, saying he saw the man infrequently, at no stage during the limited time I spent with him did I see witness or suspect any behavior of the sort that subsequently led to his arrest and conviction. I have said previously that it was a mistake and an error to see him after his release in 2010 and I can only reiterate my regret that I was mistaken to think that what I thought I knew of him was evidently not the real person, given what we now know. I have tremendous sympathy for all those affected by his actions and behavior. His suicide has left many unanswered questions and I acknowledge and sympathize with everyone who has been affected and wants some form of closure. This is a difficult time for everyone involved and I am at a loss to be able to understand or explain Mr. Epstein's lifestyle. I deplore the exploitation of any human being and would not condone, participate in, or encourage any such behavior. Mr. Wooten also claimed the conduct of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry over the past few months could cause trouble for the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have come under fire for speaking out about the threat of climate change in the September issue of Vogue, which Meghan guest edited, only to use four private jets to holiday in Europe days later. Mr. Wooten continued, and then we have the woke revolution sweeping through the royal family. So much of it has come from the criticism of Prince Harry and Meghan's eco-hypocrisy and the fact they used four private jets in just 11 days while preaching to all of us about climate change. What do we get this week in response from their A-list friends, from their multimillionaire friends, from their celebrity friends? We're told if we question this hypocrisy, we have to be racist. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were defended for their decision, with international superstar Sir Elton John speaking out for the Duke and Duchess and revealing he personally lent his private jet to the couple for a visit to southern France.